Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got space weather, seismicity, exoplanets, solar storm effects, and ENSO excitation of polar motion. We're going to have a special video tonight to make up for 61% of the normal viewers missing the story of the year in yesterday's show, and we are starting here with the last 24 hours on our star. One eruptive event, filament incoming on the north, released up and away from the Earth. All else is quiet. Moon had a brief solar eclipse this morning, which is what you see blocking the sun in that view. Here is another look at the filament release off the north. The satellite looks from Earth's direction, so that eruption is sailing up and away from the planets. Main things we're watching today are these sunspots for development and flaring, and the solar wind for the coronal hole stream effects. They are due to be arriving soon, and we expect low-level geomagnetic storm conditions. Top quake of the day was this four-pointer that struck the Bay Area. Berkeley was shaking. With the overall top magnitude yesterday being in the five range, this unusual location rumble takes the cake as the most notable quake of the day. Up next, this new video complements an exoplanet article from NASA. We're now up over 6,000 exoplanets discovered all shapes and sizes, but still none that look like our Earth. They not only have this compilation, but a rundown of all the space missions used to find exoplanets, and why we think they're going to be discovering a lot more in the next five years. By 2030, we could be up over 10,000. Solid paper up next here, breaking down how metal pipelines are at exceptional corrosion acceleration risk from electric currents induced by solar storms. Years of breakdown can happen in minutes under those conditions. This paper looked at key pipelines in Argentina, which is a good mid-latitude sample for the majority of grids and pipeline infrastructure on Earth. Top story today is how up to half of all polar motion is excited by oceanic angular momentum, driven almost entirely by the El Niño-La Niña oscillation called ENSO. What's interesting is they already know that solar impact to the atmosphere works polar motion, and so does geomagnetic condition. Now here, ENSO with a huge hand in the mix, and the solar impact to ENSO is so well documented they even include it in the climate models. It's the sun and the magnetic field working Earth's tilt and polar wander with several irons in the fire. Folks, come on out to Observer Ranch. Dr. August Dunning is coming in this week for the Founders events. We have a world-class prepper event to kick off October. The Colorado Prepper Expo is the next weekend. I'll be speaking Saturday at 1 o'clock. Main headline speaker for that one should be a good time. The experience the weekend after that, bring the kids for Halloween. We've got the ultimate self-defense training kicking off in November. Observer speed dating the 7th and the 8th documentary premiere mid-November and the last pole shift conference of the year the next day. We'll have Thanksgiving and a solstice party to close out as well. Come out and see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. That special video is coming in about 12 hours. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.